I'm working in the Simmons lab in the food science and technology department um, in the mentorship of Brittany Allison. And with our project, the question we're trying to answer is, does a mixed solvent increase the efficiency of lycopene extraction? And also, does it improve the cellulose digestibility of tomato pumice? And before we begin, I'd like to explain about tomato pumice for a bit. Tomato pumice is the skin and seeds left over when you process tomatoes into tomato paste. It is a large source of food waste in California that currently does nothing, but we're trying to make some use of it. And to do this, we are trying to extract the expensive chemical known as lycopene, which has uses as a dye and also has nutritional value. And we're also trying to ferment the leftovers into glucose, which can be turned into methane, which is used as a biofuel. Now to do this, we treat the tomato pumice with a mixed solvent of hexanes, ethanol, and acetone, which isolates the lycopene. And then we treat the leftovers with cellulase, which breaks the cellulose in the tomato pumice into glucose. And then we quantify the results by using a spectrophotometer to measure the amount of glucose and lycopene that we've extracted. And we're trying to vary the conditions of the extraction process to maximize the yield of both of the products. Now, the extraction processes that we use and the quantification methods have been developed from previous research, but no one has ever tried it on tomato pumice. And as California is one of the largest producers of tomatoes in the nation, this is something that we feel very passionately about. And it is a, a good resource that we can make, take advantage of by eliminating a source of waste from the waste stream. And I think that is the crux of our project, is that the whole green energies concept. And by making renewable energy out of a source of waste, I think we can do a lot to uh, catch up to California's growing energy needs. <laughs>